Welcome back to another episode of Greatest's Let's Play Modern Minecraft series. And this today, episode 22, I feel like a no armor upgrade, I think. Yeah, armor. With a new version of Bonecraft, we got Runic Armor. So once you've researched that, it has a rechargeable shield on each of the pieces. So I'll probably go through and craft most of the pieces. Maybe not the chest piece, because I like the jetpack too much at the moment. But uh, let's start with the boots. And our existing boots with the Traveler are very fast, so um, the basic runic armor won't be enough, because they're going to be just as slow as any other piece of normal armor. So let's make the runic armor first, and then we'll look at the upgrade, which is the runic boots of the Traveler. Which upgrades them with our boots of the Traveler to get both speed and a rechargeable shield, which is great. So for this we need Primal Charm, the new piece of research. It's just one of every shard, two gold and a Salismondus. It's pretty just straightforward. Amber, Enchanted Fabric, Night Ore, Scrapping Tools. We've all already seen all those before. 25 Potentia, 25 Precantatio, and 25, uh, 10 Tutamen. So let's just check we've got those. Tutamen, we've got 15. Uh, and we've got loads of they should got loads of fine so i've got everything laid out go there's the tutorman there's the precantatio nothing been zapped yet it's all good Entry coming in now. A little bit more. Runic boots. Now, I'm hoping this isn't going to get zapped, because I don't have a replacement if they do, so I will cry if this gets broken, but here we go. So we've got three boots on one side, we need a slime ball on the other, and I have a spare of that one. And our boots in the middle. At least these won't get zapped, I suppose. It'll be the running boots that get zapped, if anything. So, what elements do we need for that uh, aspects even? Uh, 25 potato, 25 precatatio. Okay, so. Don't have enough. Do I have enough of that? Fine, give me my boots back and let's go and get something that will sort us out. Um, let's see if the mana bean farm. By the way, I've used the mana bean farm to fill some of these. Um, it's not. Yeah, you know, there's not a huge amount of it yet, but um, yeah, I only have one permutation. I'm getting a lot more than that. 25, so I need uh, 16. Okay, let's see what permutatio. Seeds. Copper. Definitely not using the one recharge station. So seeds. And I need 16 of them. Yeah, it's one of these two though. This one doesn't have it, so... Yeah. 11 and 5. Might be cutting it a little bit close, but... As long as we don't get any effects, we should be alright. If we do get any effects, again, I'm going to cry. Um, let's just burn these up. They're both the same two aspects, so I can get some herba out of this. Not that I need it, but may as well fill. Twenty-five 
25 of you, 32 of you. Five twenty-five slime ball piece, and it's moderate. All right, here's hoping. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I need to donate my boots. Please, please don't destroy them. Please don't destroy them. There we go, looks like it's going to be okay. And it is. Great. Runic Boots of the Traveller. As you can see on my health bar, I've now got the Runic effect. It's a rechargeable shield, so, you know, any kind of recharge shield game that you've ever played before, you get the idea. I get hit, it recharges, it takes health before my actual um, life bar. Which is good. Um, oop, better go and recharge this. There we go. So, off camera, I'm going to go and do the others. Maybe not during the episode, I may well do them afterwards. Um, but yeah, Runic Armor. Best thing so far ever. If you, unless you want to do some more upgrades. And by the way, there's also Runic Goggles are revealing. So, you don't have to sacrifice the goggles for revealing. They will be okay. And if you have enough of. This do I have enough to purchase Cognitio? Hang on. Let's see if we can actually purchase this. Cognitio Spiritus Spiritus. Yeah, I have. Okay. That's what you get by the way. If you have research mastery, you can just shift click on an element, and if you have the sub elements, it'll just create them much faster. Um here we go. Yes. Runic armor upgrades. So there's a bunch of different upgrades for the armor, um, all to do with the charge generally. So, amount of charge, replenished in charge, um, yeah, kind of thorns kind of effect, um, healing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, that's all fine. And you can infuse whichever piece you want, I think. doesn't say whether I can actually do this to my upgraded pieces like the runic boots, the travel, the runic goggles, really. I hope that they can, but we'll see later on. Okay, so not quite sure if there's a bug or not, um, but the runic armor repairs itself when it's on you. The reason why I say if that's a bug or not is if you drop it in the altered enchantment table, you get some enchantments on it. Not sure if that's a bug either. I thought these might be uh, restricted from that. What on earth is going on up there? Anyway, so I got two enchantments. Magic Resistance 4 and 5 Protection 4. So I'm going to drop it in and remove that one. And then I get a durability bar. Now I'm going to drop this back on my feet. It disappears again and it's back up to full, which is great. Well, you know, if that's intended, absolutely great. Because now I can go and get, um, cycle through some of these uh, enchantments. And I'm looking to get... Um, some nice ones. Maybe haste. That'd be good. Uh, run even faster with the boots. And that's pretty amazing. In fact, unless I've already got that, I don't think I have. No, because I just did uh, pickaxes. Fine. Uh, or we'll get repair, but repair's not going to be too useful on these if they're going to self-repair like that. But hey, I'll strip that off and use that on something else. That's all well and good. So bear in mind, for the moment, you can take these boots and... In Enchant them and disenchant them and see what you get. Uh, also, I think I'm going to now automate this. It's been going for long enough. Uh, the tank, you see, is only a tenth full or so. God, it's awful. You can't even step, can't even auto step up on blocks without those boots. Um, yeah, so now I want to hook this up to be automatic. And how are we going to do that? Well, I'm probably going to leave this manual step here. I'm going to cover this up. 
don't really need to, to see it in there too often. Um, but what I'm going to do that is... Thankfully, they're built, built vertically, so all of this is quite easy to navigate. I want an autonomous activator, just one. And we want a new item called a vacuum hopper. Vacuum hoppers, regular hopper, an ender pearl, and an obsidian. Need a hopper, that's fine. One of you. Vacuum hopper, and we're going to need some ducting, so we're going to need some duct. Yeah, let's splurge. Fluid duct. And as usual, just some servos. No. What the hell is craft 10? We're going to need 10, but uh, always useful. So going to happen is we're going to need to pipe this stuff out of this barrel we'll just use that as a kind of buffer into a into a machine which will be i don't know here maybe all right or do we want it this side yeah let's do it this side this is going to be covered up remember so on a machine let's say here we want our autonomous activator And what's going to happen here is if I just drop vacuum hopper on top, watch what happens when I drop a block. Yeah, it's already gone in there, but drop another one. There we go. So it pulls in items. It also pulls in XP. So what we can do is, when we pipe that stuff, the, the essence berries, into the autonomous activator, and this is going to be set to just right-click, round robin, doesn't really matter too much, just go, go, go. What's going to happen is the XP is going to drop out, be sucked up into this, and then we want it to go off into our... Um, only problem with building near one of these things, slightly annoying. So I'm going to fluid up. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. That's my tree farm. <laughs> Gotta find more of those mufflers. Um, okay. So that's going to output any XP. And we again, just like before with, with our other items like Anvil, we need to specify which of these sides is the XP output, and hopefully I get this right the first time. Yes, there we go. So that's the XP output. Shouldn't really be any items out outputting from this, so that should be fine. And now we need to connect the barrel, the autonomous activator, and then get out while... Oh. <laughs> yeah, you see my irritation get it while we can so let's just grab stone wall this up should ideally be automatic those So the back needs to be an input. I think that's pretty much it there, really, to be honest. I didn't need as many materials as I might have thought. So... We want you to be an output. Now, when this happens, uh, because of the way this autonomous, autonomous activator works, it'll probably spew them towards me. So what I want to do is get me, so I'm out of the way. 
when I do this and wall this back up. So I can only move that. I can only pull out of the bottom. Okay. Yep, so that's output mode. Then these and gonna make sure that isn't open. There we go. It's clicking through them. It's going right round robin. So let's go and have a look at the tank and hope they wired everything up. Seven six four five four. Yeah, there it goes. So it's coming in through that uh, that buffer tank through the fluid duct and straight into this big tank. All great. We can now use that to to enchant, and it's all covered. Easy. Kind of. So this is what I mean. Charge five of eight. But instead of taking durability damage, it takes charge damage. Which is actually, I guess that's working as intended then, because if I put some back on my feet, watch, charge seven, six, seven, eight, and let's see, uh, oops, let's see what we get this time. Oh, that's terrible as well. Projectile protection four, magic resistance three, Ugh. fine. Let's go and get on with some other stuff and drop these here for now. In fact, let me make an order for some more books because we'll be going to need it. Um, might be a short string. Yeah, I'm short string. That should sort itself out. So where were we? Downstairs. Um, I put one stack of coal and one stack of iron in these machines and connected them with item ducts. So this is all out and this creosote tank is half full now from one stack of coal, so remember that. On this side, one stack of coal produced three blocks of steel. So we're going to need a lot more coal to get this running. Um, where do we want to get that? See, the reason why I want this steel is not to actually upgrade these tanks first. So it's not important. What is important, however, is building a renewable power system. Steam. And you can use iron for that. Ah, here we go. Let's have a look. Low pressure. There you go. So that's just iron. Iron plates. We've seen them before. The rolling machine. There's also a high pressure one. So I don't want to build a low pressure and then a high pressure later. I just want the high pressure one to start off with. It's a variable size. Um, which means you can have 3x3, three 3x4x3 by three, three by by three, all above the firebox layer. So you're going to need a good 34 of them. Uh, hang on. Hang on. 3x4x3, by by if we do max size, 36. And each requires two steel plates. Make one, so that's 72 steel plates. And yeah, <laughs> that's not going to be enough, I don't think. Um, so we've got 27. Nowhere near enough, so if I just... Pull this back around. Do I have a power source with me? Left it upstairs. Yeah, so I'm going to need more of these. 
um, to put the rolling machine to get those iron plates, the iron plates to make steel boilers, and we're also going to need a layer of three by three fireboxes on the bottom. Solid fuel in our case, because we're going to use wood or charcoal, as the case may be, actually. So we're going to need seven by nine, so 63 bricks and nine furnaces, nine fire charges, and these are blaze powder and gunpowder and coal. So let me go and get all assembled, and I'll be back once I've got. And I got lucky with the enchantment. Phase three. On top of Boots to the Traveler. And <laughs> we are starting to run at a silly speed. Which is fine. Absolutely fine by me. So I think the very last thing I'm going to do on Thorncraft before moving to other mods, um, oh, and just to briefly explain, uh, the last bit on the Runic Armour was recorded before I built this. Um, so those of you who've seen the last episode know what this is. I've also fixed the auto-refilling system so that it all works now. Um, complete dirt by me. It was already working already. The only problem is that this advanced computer with a wireless modem on it needs to be within a certain range of the turtle down there. And it was just out of range by like two blocks or one block or something. So just put that in mind if you're building this for Diawall 20s that you need to have this within, I think it's 16 blocks, maybe a bit less. But um, yeah, just so watch the range. Anyway, last thing I want to do is to get rid of this god awful thing. And the way we're going to do that is by building another machine. Same as the one over there. Oh, crud. Yeah. Don't let stuff fall into... There we go. Yeah, so build an equivalent machine to that. But this one isn't going to be for just one item. This one is going to be for multiple. So, why or what are we doing here? Well, I, I just don't want to build anything using a cauldron. It's um not great. Causes goo, and uh, if you're running an M MCPC plus server, by the way, there is an actual bug on it which causes you not to be able to get rid of the goo by putting an item down and replacing it. Um, the liquid stuff, if you encounter that, you can use a, a bucket of water. But the gas stuff, you have to use uh, something like an autonomous activator to place a block down on it. You can't do it yourself. So, how deep would we want this? Yeah, not that deep. Mm -hmm. Not there either. Okay, so... Here we go, that's probably where our fuel is going to need to go. We're going to need a space of five, like that one, I think. So, one, two, three, four, five. And of course, it's going to be right behind this. Turns just about right. And just annoying. Yeah, I want that one further now. This will do for now. We want an equivalent one here and one here. Uh, okay, I don't want any essential tubes. Am I out? Let's be out. There we go.
just like before. Uh, the only difference now is that I want to use these, and these are mnemonic matrices. You can see them in your magical construct. Each one of these adds two more recipes. I'm just going to use one for now. Um, yeah, you'll do. So let's say I wanted this thing to do the recipe. In fact, uh, I need one more thing. I need a little, yeah. One, I do need two more. So yeah, this is pretty ideal actually. I I need to um create a heat source and that I typically use night oil, which is fine. Except that I need to create it using a cauldron, and that's less okay, because I don't have a cauldron, well, a crucible, but I don't really have a crucible anymore. So, temporarily, I'm just going to get some lava. Fine, and that's it pretty much set up, I think. I don't think there's anything else to do here. What we have to do is give it the ingredients. So we wanted torches, coal, and glowstone. Stone, I've got some torches. Coal. So just as before in the Alimantum machine, this one, we want night oil, so we want glowstone dust. Activate it. You see it says one of three now. So if I activate it with other things, if I take this out and put another item in, I get up and down arrows, choose things. But now it's saying you need to supply with Ignis, Lux, and Retentia. And of course, this is why we have our crucibles at the side. Except that these, we're going to need void jars to, to remove... Stuff we don't want out of them. So that's important. But for right now, since I'm supplying exactly the right materials, less so. So, um. But are those the wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Leaped up. Yeah, that was my own fault for losing it. Because I built the wrong thing. Greatest us to dip. I want... Alchemical Furnace. There we go. I didn't need the crucibles, I just need to make them. Okay. No big deal. That's better. There we go. So, six torches in one side. Uh, I'm going to need some fuel, but. <laughs> yeah, why not? Short on fuel. 
totally be an infinite machine. The other side we want, um, we need, really need three coal, but, uh, hey. There we go. So that's, in fact, no, we need to, two lots of this, so I need more torches. Three more coal. There we go, eight. Okay, now there's two in each one, so I can no longer really make, um, what I want to, uh, with uh, an extra one. That's okay. So... So that is pretty much done now. Uh, I just need to attach some void jars, which I'll make off camera. I'm not really too worried about them, just like this, but no labels because you want to attach them to whatever you want to get rid of and empty the jar. Just shift right click and it empties jars. So now perfectly safe cauldron, a crucible machine. We can automate it, add different recipes in there. If we want to, we can add now another one of these, and one of the ones still further. I'll just do that. Now we've got seven recipes available. Not sure if you can stack these. It'd be nice if you were able to, but um, otherwise, yeah, you kind of limited per machine. You have to build another set of machines. It wouldn't be too hard. What you probably do is put another one back here and then have your void jars in the middle just attach wherever you want them to get rid of stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much it for Thorncraft. All these machines are pretty much all you need. A mana beam farm is producing lots. We're pretty full up on all the important stuff, which is good. Uh, we've made pretty much all the useful stuff. Obviously, I've still got to make other arm pieces, but again, that's up for yourself to do off camera. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's Thorncraft in a nutshell. Uh, next episode, we're going to move on to steel and uh, more importantly, steam. Um, because if we look at our uh, our farm, hundred twenty eight stacks, hundred twenty eight stacks, hundred twenty eight, hundred twenty eight, hundred twenty eight, and there's nowhere else the wood to go with all the saplings he used up the. I mean, the system is full. I mean, I could just improve the storage, but there's no point in planting more, um, except for the fact that... Yeah, we're down to 70 stacks for the mana bean farm and for this. So we do need to get, get some more leaves, which means we need to use up this wood somehow. Using up that wood is what we're going to do next episode. So, until then, Raidus is signing off. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe or leave a comment below.